We are here with our Democracy Forward seminar, and I have one of the change makers with us um, who is participating in the seminar, which we are organizing with the international partners um, and the Aspen Institute in the United States. And um, thank you so much for taking the time, for being here in Berlin, but also doing the interview with us. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, thank you, Stormy, and thank you to Aspen Germany for inviting us here in Berlin. It's my first time, and I'm very excited to be here. My name is Andrea Lloreda. I am from Colombia. I'm a lawyer uh, with a master's in law uh, from Georgetown University, and I'm also a Fulbright um, scholar. I work for the Colombian Special Court for Peace, which is a court created um, during the peace agreement between the Colombian government and the guerrillas of FARC in Colombia. And there we prosecute former FARC combatants. Andrea, you do have a lot to do. Um, and you're a very busy, busy woman <laughs> with a lot of responsibility. Nonetheless, um, you took the time and the effort to come to Berlin to participate in this seminar. What made you decide to come? I decided to come because I do think what, that what Aspen is doing, um, engaging people like me from a different background in its conversations and uh, its spaces is very important. Not only because it allows us to bring our perspectives to the table, but also because um, I, I was really interested in listening to the other um, fellows that were coming, and which I've done so far, and it's been, um, it's, Uh, enriched my, my perspectives about democracy and also the global state of, of, of the, the armed conflicts, which is, is very related to my work. Um, so I, I knew that it was going to be a very interesting experience for me. And uh, we are currently in day two, <laughs> you already did um, reading sessions, discussion sessions, you did a G20 simulation, um, you talked a lot with your new friends um, from, from many different countries. Is there something which surprised you or which you might take home to um, your country and to your work? Yeah, I do think like now the, the, the questions that we were asked um, at the beginning, at, at the beginning I said like, I don't know. <laughs> the, the question of the sessions, the different sessions, I said like, I don't have any idea. But now listening to others, I think like we have common problems and they need common solutions. So it was very surprising for me to, to realize that we can't fix something just in Colombia or Uh, in Ukraine that we need global solutions and global conversations and to listen to everyone. So um, I think that's, that's something that I'm taking with me that I didn't have before. And let me close with one question. Um, you are somebody who's really fighting for change um, and you are engaged in what you're doing. What would you recommend to other people who want to get engaged and who want to become change makers? What would you tell them what to do? <laughs> First, uh, to not to be afraid of speaking up, of saying what they think and if they don't agree with something, uh, to be honest about that. And second, to listen in others, I think is also important, and uh, taking, to take into account the opinion, the opinions of other people, which I think that is one of our biggest problems right now, that we are not listening uh, to each other. Thank you very much for this advice. Um, and I hope that we continue listening to each other and uh, talking to each other. Thank you so much, Andrea, for being Thanks here. For Thank you. Thank you. And bye, everyone. <laughs>